Welcome back, fashion fam. My name's Duncan, and you're at the Monday Morning Fashion News. In today's top stories, Martine Rose is appointed creative director of Clark's, Sheehan to be banned in France, and lastly, satisfy running on a collaboration hot streak. All that and more today. Okay, so our first story today is Martine Rose appointed guest creative director at Clark's Shoes. Now, this was quite a surprising headline for me. If you don't know, Martine Rose is a British fashion designer that has her own brand, and over the past couple of years after Virgil Abloh's passing, who would take over as creative director at Louis Vuitton was a hotly discussed topic within the fashion world. And I would say Martine Rose was one of the names mentioned the most. Well, anyway, in the last February, there was the shocking news that Pharrell was actually gonna take over at Louis Vuitton, and a couple of months later, here we have that Martine Rose will be the guest creative director at Clark's Shoes. Clark's Shoes is a long way off from LV, and this isn't even Clark's Originals, which is known for their classic wallaby style. This is like the more affordable mass market line of Clark's. So what does guest creative director mean? Basically, in her next menswear show, she's set to present three styles from Clark's Shoes where she will reimagine them. And these are gonna be the loafer, the Oxford shoe, and the sandal. Yeah, this definitely caught me by surprise. I see this getting some praise online. You know, Martine Rose for Clark's is genius. I mean, she does have some fairly interesting shoe styles for her own line um, that are really disruptive and bizarre. A little bit too out there for me with the bulbous toe or just how squared off some of the loafers are. About how much praise Martine Rose gets as just this genius designer, I'd like to put in my own commentary, even though this is an unbiased news source. In 2020, I picked up a pair of Martine Rose sweatpants. I really did fall victim to that hype and was like, she's a genius. And these were possibly the worst sweatpants I've ever bought. They shrunk massively, just started fading and staining right away. Like. The quality on them was really below par. Personally, not a big fan. Anyway, let me know if you're looking forward to this Clark's Shoes collaboration slash, um, you know, new era with Martine Rose <laughs> designing for them. Now, our next story is, is Shein to be banned in France? Now, if you don't know, Shein is a massive fast fashion company out of China. Their valuation has surpassed $100 billion and they're quickly growing. Basically, there is a petition going on on change.org that has over 100,000 signatures to ban Shein in France, all future pop-up retail locations, as well as their e-commerce site. The change.org petition references Shein's unsustainable business model, as well as their exploitation of human labor and the environment. Do I think this will have any headway or really result in any change for Shein? Likely no. Change.org is kind of known for its far-fetched petitions, including removing Amber Heard from Aquaman 2, which I believe has over 4 million signatures, but guess what? She's in Aquaman 2. So I think this really comes down to um, consumer values. The best way to limit the sale of Shein products would be for consumers to buy less products from Shein pretty simple and I don't know if change is going to do anything about it. So our last story is about Satisfy Running who has released back-to-back -back collaborations in the last couple of weeks. One with Crocs and then the most recent one with Oakley. Now Satisfy Running is a technical running apparel brand but they don't produ necessarily produce footwear or sunglasses in-house so I think these were great collaborations to kind of expand their product offering. I think this is a uniquely designed pair of Crocs. I just kind of wish that no brand would collaborate with Crocs. <laughs> I just can't get past the toe shape and the holes. Um, I find Crocs just completely disturbing. But let me know if you like these ones. The collaboration that I far preferred was this one from Oakley. In the first drop, they released two colorways of Oakley's Re-Sub Zero sunglasses in this dusty rose color and then matte black. There's a custom satisfy engraving at the nose bridge. And what really like stood out for me with this collaboration was the editorial shoots. It looks like they're in this kind of dust sandstorm 
super badass and then there's sand like sweeping across the model's faces. I'm especially excited for the apparel drop from this collaboration or capsule collection. The apparel is set to release June 23rd and it's just crazy. It has Oakley's logo but then with Satisfy's moth-eaten technology. It looks like they've completely aged and washed the shirt. We've only seen I think three pictures and there, some of them are a bit far away so haven't got an, a close look on the apparel, but that's the one I'm looking to purchase into. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up our news stories for today. Definitely a slower week than last week's fashion news, but I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye.